We spent a lot of time in this nitrogen plot this summer. It was during times of from emergence, from V6, all the way up to where we are in pollination. And we were checking the progress of how much does nitrogen play in the yield scenario. And so in the plot we're standing, you can see the irrigator behind me, we split this plot in half. We had a north half that was nature, just regular rainfall. Where I'm standing here in the south half, we duplicated 2015 rain pattern, which for us was the wettest of all time. And it was an extreme amount of rain. There was a time there in July in 2015, we had over nine inches. And what we saw is that nitrogen moves with water. And as nitrogen moves, so do yields go down. And so in 2015, we came back in and rescued and applied more nitrogen. At the same time, in 2016, we learned a lot about mineralization. And as you and I manage our highest input after seed, which is nitrogen, we can start to see that if we control it and we manage it in a way that we hang on to our dollars, but we can still maximize yield potential. And so that's what this plot was all about this growing season. And so now after harvest, I'm excited to share some of the results. And like all plots, it's not perfect. You know, as I harvest it, there was times I was like, oh, I wish that could have been slightly different, but that's why we replicate. And we'll show you plots throughout the rest of the year on social from all over the country, from 10 different states, where we took Y drop and we come in and we applied at the right time, the right amount at the base of the plant. So for where we're at here, what we did is we set this plot up in 10 blocks. And we wanted to check the things that you and I do for years. So we had a once and done pass where we put the 200 pounds on all before planting. The rest of the plot had 30 units on with the planter in a strip bandit. And then we come back on and we put in different amounts. So it was common to have 100 units on pre-plant and then we would come back at side dress. So we brought a colder cart in and right in between these 30 inch rows and the 15 inch center point, we side dress with the colder another additional 100 pounds compared to the Y drop at that V6. So we're talking boot high corn. Then we come back in at V15. So we're talking corn over our head, just about ready to start to shoot the tassel and silks. And we come in and put 100 pounds on that way with Y drop compared to once and done or back to the V6 stage. We also decided to put in a pass in here, both on the dry side and the wet side with a dry spreader with urea. And so we showed you the effects of the leaf burn and how the urea pellets were on the ground for a considerable amount of time on the dry side until nature finally gave us a rain. We went through quite a dry spell here. You can remember a time when we had, I was showing soil temperatures and cracks on the dry side up to 110 and as high as almost 120 degrees on the surface. And so this is a normal growing season. This is what you and I go through. And so as we harvest this plot off, we learned a lot. I'll give you some examples. Where we had Y drops side by side with the colder, we showed a 10.1 bushel response to the Y drop at the same time. So we're talking about nitrogen on top, right next to the base of the plant, compared in the center of the row, where we'd had it down that two and a half to three inches of moisture. And it's not a surprise. Over the last three years, we've shown a six and a half bushel response year in and year out. So the 10 bushel makes sense to me. Where we had the urea strip, where it was side by side of Y drop at, at V15. In other words, we put the urea on and corn that was about uh, V6, V7. And then we come back at a later date with the 100 units exactly compared the same amount of in, and we showed over a 15 bushel response, a 15.3. And so these are things that we test year in and year out. They're really for you and I that we can start to change our system. The reason we change is to create more income. All of us are raising families. All of us have desires either to look at the neighbor farm that's for sale and try to buy it, or maybe we just want to do something as simple as put in kitchen cabinets. But at the same time, it's all about what are you and I's bottom line at the end of the year. How about the difference between wet and dry? You would expect if we're reproducing the rainfall in 2015, you would see that water moves nitrogen down. And let's just take the colder. 
So where we had put nitrogen on it, V6, V7, about two and a half inches deep in the center of that row, when we jumped over this grass strip and we come in here to the wet side, it showed 11 and a half bushel less yield. In other words, water did move that nitrogen down and it had a negative effect on it. Where we then come back in, right next to it in a block, and we come back in at V15. In other words, we had 100 units on at V6. We come back in at Y drop, put 100 units on. When we jumped across the lane and put it later in the year, we added another seven and a half bushel. And this makes sense to me as a farmer. These are common sense things that you and I experience in a large scale as we grow corn. So at the end of the day, we had a lot of fun out here and it's really about teaching and using this plot as an educational source, but we're excited about the kind of response we saw. So N truly does make a difference. And when you and I put it on at the right place at the right time, there's quite a bit of success.